Homer's got two very bowed front legs. It looks very painful, but it doesn't seem to bother him. He can still walk and he will even run if I throw a rope or a ball, which is amazing. We need to see if there's any way we can relieve his discomfort. For this little guy, the short trip from the car park to the vet clinic is a major production, with a few distractions along the way. Hey, it's so good to see you. You've got a bit of a waist now. Um, you look so much better. Did you see him when he first came in? He was, he was pretty chuffed, wasn't he? He was a big sausage roll. So good to see you. Yes, it is. When Homer was first surrendered to Scar four months ago, helping him lose weight was a priority to try and take some pressure off his malformed front legs. While they don't seem to cause him too much discomfort, they do make for very slow progress. Although bribery helps. Good boy. It may be a while yet before he makes it to his appointment with Kylie in the consultation room. Okay. Homer has finally made it to the clinic. Aside from his wonky front legs, recent blood tests and an ultrasound have confirmed he's suffering from another serious condition. He now has a disease called Cushing's disease. There's a small growth in his pituitary gland in his brain that then stimulates the adrenal glands to produce too much cortisone. Now, a little things to check today, mate. Okay. Symptoms of Cushing's include increased thirst and appetite, a distended stomach and hair loss. His heart rate's good. Nice and steady. Good boy. Thankfully, however, it can be managed. Home has been started on some medication to control the excess cortisol production. It is a medication he will be on for the rest of his life. It's going to redo your blood pressure. Another symptom of the disease can be high blood pressure. It's something that we see occasionally with dogs with Cushing's disease and that's certainly the case for Homer. When we first checked his blood pressure, it was very, very high. That's a very good little guy. And today it's normal, so that's very exciting. Yay, well done, little guy. In the consultation room, Kylie's focus has shifted to Homer's problematic front legs. The joints won't be gliding properly because they're not at a normal angle. He will get abnormal wear and tear on the cartilage within his joints, and he's probably got some arthritis in there because of that as well. Up until now, he doesn't seem to have been suffering too much discomfort. But today, he just does seem a little bit sore with his elbows being extended. I'm worried he may be getting a little bit sore. We do have him on a joint support formula at the moment just to help with his cartilage and joint health. So they're just some Velcro and neoprene fabric. Give them a whirl and see how they go, little man. Let's just see how they fit for you. Sorry, it's a bit moist, isn't it? All right. So we're going to pop it around here. Oh, Homer, he is a champion of a little patient. He uh, has been in here quite a number of times. He's going to feel a bit weird. And he just takes it in his little wonky stride. He's the best little patient, and he looks at you with his cute little brown eyes, like he doesn't have a care in the world. Just pop him down and see what he thinks about these. Can we have a little look? Understandably, he seems a little suspicious. Hello, yes, you're so clever. Come here. Come here, Come here. It's a little bit better. It's going to be wonky. It's not going to cure anything. It's just trying to ease the wear and tear on his poor little joints and keep those little legs ticking over for as long as we can. That's one more positive step towards getting Homer properly on his feet. So he's been with us for a little while now. He's had a few little worries we've had to work through. Hopefully now we're getting on top of all those. He'll be able to be looking for his new home. Oh, you little schnickelbug. 